and welcome to Fun With My Lodge. I'm Anna, this is Suzanne, and we're going to teach you how to create a faux batik technique. So that is a wax resist uh, dyeing technique mm -hmm. that's usually done on fabric, but we're going to do it with Mod Podge on paper and with watercolor. You can do straight gloss Mod Podge without tinting it or anything, which is what the Hello is done in. But what we're going to do is the one that's black. It looks almost like it's been like stained glass or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to mix now. Okay, so you get a bowl. All right. And then you're going to get some Mod Podge gloss. Has to be uh, gloss. Needs to be gloss. I think it's prettier. I think you could use other formulas, but I like the gloss because it's shiny. So now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of folk art paint. Uh, this okay. is just uh, licorice is actually the color. Mm -hmm. That's good. And the gloss is milky white, but when it dries, it dries super mm -hmm. clear. So it looks gray here, but mm -hmm. it'll be black, right? Mm -hmm. It dries really dark. So now all you need to do is you're going to have to put it inside of a little squeeze tube bottle. You can always make a paper funnel and stick it in there, but fine art. Yeah, I'm really boring. good at pouring these things. Okay. Is that good? So you could, yeah, that's plenty. We're gonna just do a card today. Okay. So let's draw like a simple, if you could draw like a like simple a leaf. leaf. Just something you could draw with glue. You don't want anything too detailed. Too because, elaborate. Yes, right? because it'll be a little tricky to draw. Okay. okay. Alrighty, there's right. my leaf. Uh huh. You're just going to squeeze and draw at the same time. Squeeze and draw. Is it easy? Yes. Yeah. It's super easy. There you go. And then, and then what this is doing is when it dries, it will create a resist and and protect one area that the paint will stay. But at the same time, it's a really cool shiny outline. Yeah. And this is exactly how batik is done. Only it's done, like I said, with wax. And you can and like. Like shown, you can do letters or anything like that. Okay, so that's now, easy. here's one that's done and dry. Okay, so now you're just gonna use regular watercolor. And you basically, now you can use the same water te watercolor technique. And see, you'll see now how it's gonna hold into the, you can even add a little bit of water. It won't even, it won't go anywhere. So pretty. Isn't it pretty? And I love how, see how it holds? It makes a nice outline. And then you could just paint with water. You can just create gradients mm -hmm. and different color values. Uh -huh. So you could even just pick water up and start here and pull down and make kind of like an ombre even. even like, right yeah, grab some of that. There you go. Yeah. And then if you were to do like say clear and you're doing this, you can just take a, a paper towel and just dab on the top and it'll remove it from the, from the Mod Podge. So the other thing that I want to see you try, which is a lot of fun, is similar to these circles. Um, I, I've mixed some other paints. I've mixed a purple, okay, and I've mixed a blue and a lime green. These are folk art colors. This is Cayman blue, lavender, and I think a citrus green. So just do circles. So do a whole bunch, and then you can layer different circles. What you want to do is not touch the surface, because that makes it scratch off. It, did I not do it? There you go. There you go. Because if you touch the surface, it is kind of scratchy. Here, let's do let's do the blue one. There you go. And then have them go over each other. It's like flap over. <laughs> I want to pop my a bubble little. popper over right here. So just there you go. That's cool. See, isn't that cool? There you go. And then here, here's the green. So this is great for kids because they can just draw any type of shape. They can overlap. Ooh, that one came out thick. <laughs> So just keep your little caps on tight, and then you can keep these. This one is just plain Mod Podge gloss. So you could do like a whole bunch of colors. Uh, order these bottles just off of Amazon online. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And this is a great activity that you could do all summer long. You just need to give it a little time to dry, and then have a lot of color. To go. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoy this craft of the faux petite, you can get the instructions on platonline.com. And also, subscribe below, hit the button below to subscribe, and you can find more videos with Fun and Life Watch. Until next time, bye! Bye! So, faux petit. Faux petit. Faux petit. So, if you would... <laughs> okay. Bye! Bye!